their moms. Now, I saw a lot of comments. I respect you guys' opinion out there. I have one comment that really disturbed me. You had a guy that admitted that he was 30 years old, stays at home with his mom because he can't find a job where he lives at. Hey, so, dog. Make up a fucking job. Pick up a lawnmower, cut some grass, pick some weeds, do something. There's gotta be something in your small rural community that you can do to provide for you and yours. There's no excuse. I mean, like, like, like I tell everybody, I, the last thing I said I had two jobs. Actually, I have three. So let me get this straight. If I can have two or three jobs, you can at least have one. Oh, there's a lot of jobs out there. You just don't want to do them. That's the thing. You got all these people that complain, oh, there's no job, there's no job. Look at all the, the hardworking Mexicans that come over here and they do whatever it takes, no matter what the price is to get the job. See, let me tell you something about the Mexicans, man. Why y'all sit there and knock them for, you know, all the children they have and all, whatever the case may be. They start at an early age. They develop a trade and they fucking run with it. Whether it's cutting grass, whether it's fixing cars, whether it's doing hair, whether it's house cleaning, it doesn't matter what it is. They do whatever it takes and they go going 100 miles an hour. That's why they're taking all the jobs. And you know what, quite frankly, I don't blame them. If they take the jobs, good for them. The job is gonna get done thoroughly, correctly, about 90% of the time. Who gives a fuck about, nobody feels sorry for you, man. You're 30 years old and you still stay with your mom because you can't find a job. You mean to tell me you can't walk? You, there's not a McDonald's at your, in your little community? They got McDonald's everywhere. Take your ass up there, apply, tell them I'll mop, I'll fucking make fries, I'll do whatever it takes. I know they got something over there, man. I know there's a lawnmower somewhere in that neighborhood you live in. Pick that motherfucker up and go cut some grass. you make, you make a pretty good living cutting grass, believe it or not, if you put your motherfucking mind to it and your effort to it. They got boys. And then, you know, they, they're complaining about, oh, there's no work. Oh, you know, I stay at my mom's house because it's cheap and it's convenient. Well, that qualifies you as a fucking loser in my book, man. Are you fucking kidding? You really think your, you really think your mom still wants you there at the house, man? Really? Like I said in the last video, you, I mean, what girl in their right mind that has a brain, that has an IQ of a fucking cucumber melon, would sit there and allow her man um, still stay at home with their mom? What, what chick like that? That's embarrassing. It's an insult to injury. It's despicable. It's putrid. I got my own crib, my own car, my own bills. It feels good. Yeah, sometimes my check is gone, but I know for a fact that I, I worked my ass off and I earned that paycheck. Y'all don't know that shit though. A lot of you fools that's thumbing down this video, either because you dislike me, you, you, I'm talking.